Hi, this is how to find your PPD file for your printer. That is a PostScript printer definition file. So your printer has to support PostScript. In this software, it uses these files to populate all the information about the printer. So you can actually set, change the settings when it sends PostScript to the printer. So when you click on select printer in the software, if you pick a printer where there's no PPD file available on your Windows machine, then it will come up with a pop-up box saying that it can't find your PPD file. Now, if you've already got a PPD file where you know where it is, you can just click on Load PPD. But if you don't know, I'll show you how to find it on the internet. You can look for certain keywords to actually find it. So if I click on Click to Search Now, it will use the name of the printer in the search for you. So if I go down, I want to look for the PPD somewhere. So this is the generic UFR2 V4 printer driver. Probably one of these other ones will probably do it as well, but I'm going to click on this one. I've clicked on it before. I know it's here. But um, yeah, click on that one. So in the drivers, I'm looking for the PPD. So if I search, I search for PPD, I can see there's PPD file there. And this is actually for all the versions of the printer drivers for Canon. Click on download. So it's downloaded it. Right, and these, this is all where all the PPD files are for printers. I want to look for, it's this one here, Canon IR Advantage. See 5535, 5535. So I can see it there. So that is the path that I want. This is the PPD file. If I go to software now, click on load PPD. I go to that path, click on that PPD file. So now when I pick that printer up, it will automatically populate it in every time. And if you want to change it, you can. You just go to actions menu, load PPD file, and then click on the PPD that you want to load. And it will populate that information.